of course, coming in in, in a remodeling process, you're faced with challenges of uh, using existing walls, floors, posts that are in various stages of level, plumb, square, straight, etc. So uh, that being the case, we uh, on this particular project, one thing we started with is um, having this natural round wood post in place. Um, the original shoji that was here had a piece of CVG dug fir, um, a piece of one by two and a half that was uh, essentially dadoed and mortised into the, that post. One thing I attempted to do was to make that fit uh, be a little tighter than the, the original. So uh, quite a bit of time was spent actually scribing our piece of cherry into that dado, widening the dado in, in certain places to, uh, to, to even it out. Uh, my, my suspicion is that 25 years ago when they set that post and put in their filler uh, piece of VG fur, it probably fit pretty well. But over time, I think that post is twisted, opened up. So therefore, the, the, the data we had to work with was very variable. It went from uh, two and nine sixteenths wide down to two and an eighth and sort of all over the place. So I ended up going back with uh, a, a couple of hand planes and, and uh, basically making it a more uniform data. So uh, a lot of time, the first day I would say was spent uh, getting that piece, uh, our piece of cherry scribed in. One of the issues that we, we, I ran into in trying to design the system is, as you can see, the upper track is not fastened to a uh, ceiling of any kind. It's, it's a floating header, if you will. So it's not load bearing, unless I made it you know, a massive beam, which, which in that, I believe, kind of takes away from the lightness of a shoji screen. So we wanted to keep it, the dimensionality of that top track, um, pretty, pretty minimal. Um, that being said, the only way I could see doing this is with a bottom mounted track system. So we came up with this system, I think works really great, which is uh, we have stainless steel rollers um, that are mortised into the bottom of these doors. And then we inlaid um, aluminum flat bar into the track at specific locations and uh, sort of in collaboratively came up with a system between myself and a couple other people, a system that I think works really well. And then we have uh, small dados mounted into the top track that are acts as, act as guides. Um, and we have some pretty much invisible uh, aluminum guides fastened at the top of each door uh, that are essentially fins that ride into those dados at the top and just sort of guide the door and keep it in line. So um, I'm very pleased with how the, um, how the hardware system worked out and it was a, a fun and challenging process to uh, come up with that, but that's, uh, that's part of what makes these kind of projects really fun.